Hi, my name is Katie Brosnan. I'm a registered nurse here in Austin, Texas. And today I'm going to talk about calculating your ovulation. It's best to calculate your ovulation or you'll get a, a good effect when you actually have a regular cycle. Um, and there's a lot of ways if you have a regular cycle that you can kind of determine when you're ovulating. Uh, one of which is getting a calendar out and actually counting back the days to find the average time with your total number of days in the cycle versus the date of your last period to find when you're actually ovulating, those couple of days that you're ovulating. Another way is um, to watch what your body's doing. So you'll have a cervical mucus that at the beginning of your cycle will be dry and as you're approaching ovulation, it'll actually get more wet and sticky and stringy. They say it's almost like an egg white substance or mucus. Um, so that's a good indication. If you're actually doing um, more invasive testing, you can test your cervix to see um, how high it is within your vagina. And so when you're ovulating, it'll actually drop. And this is something that you really need to be in tune with your body and know what you're doing, something you might want to talk to your doctor about. You can also do um, the body temperature, your basal body temperature. That's something that you check every morning at the same time. And you do this before you get out of bed and before you start moving around. And you use a specific thermometer, which is going to give you the most accurate uh, degree consistently. And so this will tell you so it'll tell you when your temperature is elevated 0 0.5 to one and a half degrees Fahrenheit higher and usually that happens 60% of the time it's happening the day after you've ovulated and then it'll remain elevated until uh, your menstruation and so over time you'll start to see the pattern and be able to calculate that way. You can also do home kits where they have um, urine kits that detect the LH or luteinizing hormone, which is what will be released and it uh, encourages the egg to drop down. So you can tell when your, your levels of LH have surged or they've elevated. And those are just a couple of ways that you can calculate your ovulation.